Hey, space enthusiasts. Today we have some groundbreaking news confirming that Albert Einstein was right yet again. Astronomers have observed a region around a black hole where matter can no longer orbit and instead plunges into the black hole, just as Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted. Let's dive into this fascinating discovery. Astronomers using X-ray telescopes have observed a region around a black hole about 10,000 light years from Earth called the Plunge Region for the first time. Andrew Mummery, a research scientist and lead author of the study published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, said, We had been ignoring this region because we didn't have the data, but now that we do, there's no other explanation. This isn't the first time black holes have helped confirm Einstein's theories. The first photo of a black hole in 2019 reinforced his revolutionary idea that gravity is the curvature of space-time. Many of Einstein's predictions like gravitational waves and the universal speed limit, have proven correct over the years. At this point, it's hard to bet against Einstein, says Mummery, a leverhulme Pyles fellow at Oxford University's Department of Physics. We specifically set out to find this. That was always the plan. We debated for a long time whether we could actually find it, Mummery says. People said it was impossible, so it's really exciting to confirm that it's there. The observed black hole, located in a system called Maxi J1820-072, consists of a smaller star and a black hole estimated to be seven to eight times the mass of our sun. Astronomers use NASA's New Star and NICER telescopes to gather data and understand how hot gas, or plasma, from the star is drawn into the black hole. New Star is short for Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array Orbiting Earth and NICER, the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer, is located on the International Space Station. Mummery explains, These black holes have large disks of orbiting material from nearby stars around them. Most of it is stable, flowing happily like a river, whereas the plunge region is like the edge of a waterfall. All support is gone, and you're just plummeting head first. Most of what you see is the river, but at the very end, there's this small region, which is what we essentially found, he said, noting that while the river has been widely observed, this is the first evidence of the water waterfall. Unlike the event horizon, where nothing, not even light, can escape, Mummery explains that in the plunge region, light can still escape, but matter is doomed by the strong gravity. The findings could help astronomers better understand the formation and evolution of black holes. By studying this region, we can really learn about them, because it's right at the edge, so it gives us the most information, Mummery said. Although the study lacks an actual image of the black hole due to its small size and distance, another team of Oxford researchers is working on something even better, the first movie of a black hole. To achieve this, the team must first build a new observatory in Namibia, the Africa Millimeter Telescope, which must Mummery expects to be online within a decade. This telescope will join the International Event Horizon Telescope collaboration that captured the groundbreaking 2019 image, allowing scientists to observe and film supermassive black holes at the center of the Milky Way galaxy and beyond. This discovery is a significant step forward in understanding how matter behaves around black holes. It's an exciting time for astronomy as we continue to unlock the mysteries of our universe. Stay tuned for more updates on these groundbreaking discoveries. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye.